Hello, everybody. Welcome. I'm No02, and we are here at the end of Act 5, Solo, No Hope. Link in the description for the deck and whatnot. Awaiting our justice. Aren't we all? Aren't we all? And uh, let's see here. Corruption cards, Ravenous. That's actually good for us here in general because we get lots of food and lots of buffs. And food heals us with uh, food scavengers, so we'll be nice and healthy all the time. If you watched the last mission, I'd highly recommend you la watch the last bit of it because it was quite exciting, the last uh, bit of it. And hopefully, um, this is exciting too, but I don't think it's going to be. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just not. We'll get our stun gun. We'll get our extra herba derper. I think we'll just get extra health and we'll get our armor plates and we're on our way. You could, you could buy an extra grenade, put it in the elevator, and then just like grenade your way out of the out elevator. Yeah. Something I should have talked about in the playthrough, I admit. I just didn't, I honestly didn't think of it because I just never use a grenade. I typically just stand up here and it usually turns out okay in the end, for the most part. Thanks, Hoffman. Man, can I just say that I really enjoyed the story of this act? And I feel like we just got a teaser. Like, this is like, this is the trailer for what could be way more story. For the most part, if you just sort of stay in this corner, the bots are okay-ish about not dropping down. Okay, we got two. Let's do this. We got two in the central shaft here. This sort of simplifies our path a little bit. Two in the lower shaft. So we'll go this way now. Usual, use my usual pathing. We do have an incoming horde. That's nice. A little bit of excitement for us. Listen closely. Something's nearby. Nothing. Nothing over there. A oh, one guy right here. Us too, brother. I don't think anything down there. Oh, ravenous. Where's all our food? I'll sort of just chill right here, I guess. Wish we had found the laser sight. I don't know how much I trust our shotgun damage. Got the stumble, though. Didn't get the reload off, though. This is why I like to play sort of just outside of a cage. If you trap inside yourself in a cage, you're totally locked in as far as like if a wretch shows up at a bad place, you're just trapped in this cage. So you play outside the cage. It's a little more wiggle room. These freaking bear traps, man. Thanks, Hoffman. I think that guy's gonna be right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does that tunnel look familiar to you guys? We are a little hurt. Next. Oh, God. The ravenous. Let's eat some food. It's freaking killing us. Oh, it hurts. We're stuffed. We'll be needing this. Portobin's coming fast. I want, I want to get a little bit away from... A little bit away from the edge here, right? That should be good. That Molotov behind us should be good. We just trust the bots so they got our backs. Most of the time, the bots do have your back. Most of the time, they do. Here, take this. A little break that, thank you. You can look for some food right here, real fast. And that'll definitely tide us over for the end. 
We'll take a little peek here. Oh, we didn't save the lower shaft guy. Crap. Got to open the door. Painful. Oh! No. Let's do the same strat. Let's we'll stand over here. We're golden. Sorry, right, dude. Forgot your cage door. <laughs> sort of glad we picked up the extra stamina. We'll take a little peek right here. Just real fast. For excellent aiming. Our person we need to save is up there. They are not. We'll get our food real fast. Let's be moving. Anyone need this? Well, we should be good. There's our person. What's someone throwing a grenade yet? I'll take it. Mine ain't up in code. I say we shut it down. You're right, Jim. It's not up to code. <laughs> it looks like we got okay-ish. Well, we, I guess technically we got the worst possible RNG. Put them split up like this. No opportunity to open doors preemptively. We got plenty of grenades for the final run here. Let's go. Pop the T5 for the run. So that's why we got the stun gun. We would still like a grenade left at the end here. We're stuck on something? We've almost done it. A little more exciting than I than I than I'll, I'll admit that I thought it was going to be. We've done it though. Wasn't one. played perfectly. There you go. That is Act Five Solo No Hope Mode. I hope this helps. I had a lot of fun doing these. I hope this helps you guys. I uh, hope this. Uh, to some extent, I hope I make it look easy. I won't even I won't even spoil. I won't even spoil it if you haven't seen it yet. I hope, I hope it makes it, I make it look a little easy so that for those of you who are maybe scared to do it, give it a try. Try it out. Use the decks. Let me know how it goes. Problems that you run into, I would love to hear them because that makes me think about, oh, and maybe there is somewhere else where uh, the deck can be improved. Somewhere else where maybe, uh, you know, maybe we're a little too strong in a certain area and we can improve it somewhere else by taking cards out, replacing them. Things like that. Let me know. But I had a lot of fun doing this. Loved Act 5. Wish there was more. Honestly, wish there was more. Uh, Turtle Rock, I hope you give us more. hope you give us more. hope you're able to do that. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. And I will... Uh, what's coming up next is uh, lots of different decks for all of the different acts using the new cards. I'll do, uh, do a lot of experimenting going on here. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. And I will... Uh, I'll see you in the future.